I'm John Crawford. Welcome to Flashback, where we take a look back at local stories from years gone by. Today, we look back at 2009, which was an incredible year for Terrace. That's when Terrace was named CBC's Craft Hockeyville. One of my favorite memories of that year was in late January, when Terrace first made the top five finalist list. My God, I can't believe it. We made top five, we're first out of the gate. I mean, how exciting is that? Exciting indeed, and even though it was somewhat expected, CBC still managed to throw a bit of a surprise twist into the announcement. I say somewhat expected because Kraft Regional Representative William Ma was in Terrace late last week visiting several local restaurants and taking in the Kraft Foods Day hosted by Northwest Community College's culinary arts students. So the Terrace Hockeyville Committee gathered at Boston Pizza yesterday afternoon to take in the announcement, which they were told would be made during the second intermission of the NHL All-Star telecast on CFTK-TV. So they weren't really paying attention when suddenly Ron McLean came on during the first intermission with this. East leads at 4-2 here at the first intermission of the Bell Center, the 2009 All-Star Game on Hockey Night in Canada. Some lucky town in Canada will have an NHL preseason game this fall, there are 10 finalists right now in Kraft Hockeyville 09. We're going to show you the West finalists and narrow it down to one. We'll begin to broadcast Hockey Night in Canada from the five finalists on January 31st. Terrace BC versus La Brocaire. We had 2.5 million votes in the region. You can see those are the numbers. Terrace BC just edges out La Brocaire. Uh, in that race in the Western Division. So that means congratulations, Terrace, in the beautiful area of BC up by the Queen Charlotte's. John Shannon was telling me that Prince Rupert, Kitimat Terrace, that forms the golden triangle of the region. Cassie Campbell, or something like that, Cassie Campbell will be there January 31st with our Hockey Night in Canada broadcast. Congratulations, Terrace. At first, the committee wasn't sure they heard right. So for a few moments, there was a sort of stunned silence, and then it clicked. Yeah! Now we have a ton of planning to do. CBC will be in town this weekend. We have a couple of days now to get organized, to dress up Terrace, get it looking really like Hockeyville. Paint the streets, paint the windows. I don't care what you do, but make this town be Hockeyville. The CBC is dispatching Hockey Night in Canada's Cassie Campbell and the fellow they used to call Captain Kirk, former Vancouver Canucks goaltender Kirk McLean, to broadcast live out of Terrace this Saturday and the Terrace Hockeyville Committee met today to plot their course ahead. We, we have a, a list of uh, items that have to be sent to CBC to be approved for Cassie and, and Kirk McLean. Uh, once we get that back, we can make more announcements into specifics, but things we see going on are besides the games. We mentioned the Skeena Valley uh, Hockey League games that were mentioned in the River Kings game. Uh, we're also looking at doing some hockey clinics. Uh, we're looking at doing some uh, hockey competitions like speed skating and the shootouts and all that sort of stuff. So as they approve what their timelines are going to be, it will be, it will be as we can announce them then. The scheduling of this weekend's activities is going to cause a little bit of a problem for the Terrace Skating Club. They were planning their gala for this weekend, but they've agreed to move things around so that Hockey Night in Canada and the Terrace River Kings can go on as scheduled. They've worked very hard for the past six months on putting together this gala that they do. They use it as a fundraiser, and I think that's important to acknowledge as well. Uh, so because of the Hockey Bill announcement yesterday and the, and the uh, energy being placed to the CBC crew and the NHL alumni coming to Terrace, uh, they very graciously gave us that the Saturday daytime um, so that we could do our, our events in, in the main arena there. So now the important thing to think about is voting, and that's going to be coming up at the end of February and the beginning of March, and the Hockeyville Committee is going all out to make sure that everybody does cast their ballot. For CFTK-TV News in Terrace, I'm John Crawford.